Weasley little liars, dude. Still lying on April 1st. Fucking liars, dude. Weasley little liars. Welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing, everyone. I just got done having the biggest chuckle fit today ever. It was fucking hilarious. Uh, it, today was fucking hilarious. <laughs> In my GTA RP thing, they did like a big event against Ugandans to steal a panther. It was fucking insane, dude. And then, oh, jeez, I don't even know how to fucking explain it. They did like six, it, it, it was fucking insane. Two of the biggest like gangs were helping out and uh, one guy got left behind and he got, you know, he ended up being um, identified and... Uh, now there's a manhunt for him, and he's new, and he's like, holy fuck, people are out for his head. And then uh, everyone else made it scot-free, and, you know, a bank heist ended up happening while they were in a helicopter, and then someone stole the Ugandan plane, and it was the cops, and the cops were joyriding in the Ugandan plane, uh, doing barrel rolls in the cockpit, doing barrel rolls and dying in the cockpit, being thrown around everywhere. It's, it's fucking hilarious. It is absolutely fucking hilarious what just happened. And they try to land the helicopter on the giant fucking Zeppelin. Like, it, it's fucking so fucking stupid, dude. It's so stupid. I could just... <laughs> just how stupid it was. Just how volatile everything is. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. That's all I gotta say. It's amazing. But, hey. Welcome back to another episode. It's hot as fuck. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I've chopped my t I've chomped on my tongue two to three times already. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It hurts, and I don't want to talk too much. Go the screen. Ooh. Don't want to talk too much. It it it's at the point where it's so hot in here. It feels like I'm gonna have a nosebleed. You know what I'm saying? My nose is gonna bleed. I'm gonna bleed out everyone. I'm gonna die. <laughs> you know? I'm gonna bleed out everywhere, and then I'm going to die. Uh. <clears throat> What is happening? It's so silly. It's funny because when the cops ended up pulling them out of the burning wreckage, they're like, "Good job, guys! You made the <laughs> you made <laughs> you made the bank is bank robbers escape." It's kind of crazy. I watch from the bank robbers' uh, point of view, and you just see a giant fucking big ass plane as tall as a skyscraper flying above uh, the interstate where they're evading the cops and just fucking. The helicopter trying to land on top of it, they fly ahead. They since the you know the helicopter and planes faster, they fly ahead of the highway and just in just one change and just the helicopter fucking flips because it hits the wing and then it smashes into the back wing and fucking explodes out of fucking nowhere and it's like this big ass epic fucking explosion in the sky and the cops like fuck you guys are gonna get away now. Uh, because they have to go take care of that. It, it it was it was absolutely fucking insane. It absolutely insane. It's fucking hilarious. Like every single point of view is hilarious. The fucking mayor was in the plane, so they accidentally killed the mayor and a whole bunch of senior police officers by accidentally clipping the plane with their helicopter. Like it was, it dude. It was so fucking great, dude. Fucking amazing. It's like what, it's what RP's made for, brother. Just like this coalescence of dumb shit happening. <laughs> Let's see, how you doing, Adi? <laughs> I find this very funny because this isn't the first, like, the first time these characters accidentally killed the mayor, right? Because technically you would think of it as like a, a, a form of terrorism, like an assassin assassination. Uh, oh my god, fucking this dumb shit, right? I wonder if I could go buy Slingshot. Why not, huh? The mayor, um... The mayor was riding her moped, and in the Grand Theft Auto 5M mod, uh, for some reason, if you run over a moped, they just fucking explode. They're, they're like landmines, right? You run over a motorcycle that's on its side, you just run over it, it just fucking implodes, dude. And, uh, someone had a already beaten down broken car, was sitting inside the Benny's getting ready for it to, uh, uh, getting ready to repair it, and they're like, you know what, I don't want to spend money on this dog shit car, 
You know, they're inside of a garage. The mayor is about to ride into the garage. Drives out the garage extremely fast. Hit the mayor off the bike. Runs over the bike. Explodes the person in the car and accidentally explodes the mayor. And they both die in a fire. It's fucking hilarious. It is fucking hilarious. The world, the world, like RP is just so fun. Just because dumb, stupid shit like that can happen, you know? Five. Hardwood. Yes, I'm very hard. Yes, I'm very hard. It's probably moved beyond. I went through a cutscene, so I don't know if it I already moved on. But, you know, I decided to turn this on because, you know, they gotta go through the role plays of the EMS, putting them back together and taking them down to, um, an area so they could go get healed up and whatnot. Um, it's usually fast. I, I usually feel, I feel kind of bad for the EMS, to be completely honest with you, in this, because a lot of people take, uh, death at, like, it's still a video game, right? So a lot of people treat death as that, unless it's, like, a big specific moment. <laughs> Why is Donnie in a fucking little car cave? And, um... Let's see, what is it? Do you want this? Give you an egg. Um, but yeah, you don't you don't have to permanently die. It's up to you, right? To choose how you want to die, whatever it may be. And if you end up respawning, which is usually frowned upon because you get, you know, like, the EMS, the people who are role-playing doctors, don't get a chance to be... Don't get a chance to play doctor, right? You gotta play with them, play for your... You know, talk about your injuries, yada, 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 stuff like that, right? You know what I'm talking about? Let's see, one, two, bamboo. Good screen. It was just... I don't know, uh, I don't know. Hmm, weird. So. They're just being loaded up on a helicopter right now. It's been about, like, 15, 20 minutes they've been dead. So imagine being dead in a video game and you're waiting for a res. Right? And you res at the hospital. <clears throat> and usually, let's say, if you're murdered, right? If you're murdered and your body's dumped out into the middle of nowhere, um, what you end up doing is that you just die. <laughs> you're dead. You either wait for, uh, ambulance to come, and if they don't come, and just, depending on the specific area, they don't come. So, if they don't come, then you just fucking chill, brother. You fucking chill for, like, 10, 20 minutes, no one comes, respawn, or... You could put in a, like, um, a call, right? You could pretend that you're a local that came across the body, and then they'll come, and you have to wait and go through your stuff. Or, if none of that happens, and, like, let's say, like, you're in the middle of the sea dead, um, <clears throat> you just respawn. You respawn, and then you forget all the events, uh, leading up to that moment, so you're just like, oh my god, I just woke up from a coma, what the fuck happened? And then someone else can fill you in on it, or not, it, you know, it depends, but... You're supposed to treat that situation as, like, a blank, right? The trauma ends up blanking out. It's very funny. Funny day top of page beach chair. Ah, uh, now they're sitting with the- they're with the cop that, that- that was flying the plane. The big fucking cargo airliner. And now they're blaming each other right now. It's like, it's your fucking fault! <laughs> We're flying into us, what the fuck? Well, well then, well, if it isn't my rambler, so glad to hear your voice. How you doing there, cutie? I was making it up this so long, but I know for sure Ooh, the aerial is the best decision I've ever made. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, you baby. Let's see. Let's see. You know, I'm so close to finishing the series that I wonder if working turbo hard on trying to pay off my debt is the thing I should probably do, right? I have all the way until the last day to do it. And I definitely will say, like, once the 365 day series is over, I'm not fucking playing this shit for a long time. I'm playing it every once in a while, dude. You know, when a bitch with fucking colored hair talks to me, you <laughs> just... Brother. <laughs> brother, you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to act up. You know what I'm about to do, brother. You know what I'm about to do. You can't stop me. Paying for pockets. Pay from savings.
There you go. It's so weird. Everyone's dead and they're like talking normal, which you're usually not supposed to do. It's very funny. Very funny. Grant the photo RP. Very fun. Very fun and silly. I could definitely say that. Mm. My tongue hurts. <laughs> but that's it. We're done for the day, everyone. My name is Luna. As always, stay frosty. Okay? Mega love. I paid off a big chunk. Damn. Wasn't even that much, but hey, whatever.